G'day, my name's Alan Teske. My main aim in beekeeping is to experiment and to obtain as much honey from the hives as possible. Part of your uh, biosecurity requirements? In Australia. Record keeping is a requirement and your records must be kept for a minimum of three years, irrespective of whether you're a commercial beekeeper or a hobbyist. My records I've been keeping since the 1980s. Only having one hive has limitations. With two or more hives, the bee creates options for brood, pest and disease management and the well-being of the hives. To be able to interchange frames is paramount. We'll check this nuke here. Options. It does not matter if the second hive is a nuke or another honey hive. Backup is well worth the extra cost. Overall, in a 12 month period, the cost could be cheaper. Now, I, won't, I won't bother taking any honey out of here because there may be a full frame of honey in here that we can take with us. Oh, some bees in here. They want to go. No queen. Early in winter, the bees tend to fill the outside frames with honey for warmth. So when the daytime temperature gets to a minimum of 22 degrees, we start working the hives and taking out excess honey and putting in stickies or foundation so that there is increase in bee numbers and the hives do not swarm. Pretty good brood for the uh, beginning of uh, August. This, this is a full frame of brood for uh, the beginning of August. Unreal. This is the beauty about my uh, carny, uh, Italian carny queens. There's your queen in the centre. Right. Yep. I'll just put her there for the moment. This one here is uh, only about half a frame of uh, honey and the rest of it is brood. No, we, haven't, we haven't got any frames of honey, it's nearly all brood. So that last one I took out, that was the one that had the most uh, honey on it, so we'll take it out. Okay, that's a sticky that we've uh, extracted last week. So in this four frame nuke, the queen, there's the queen, so I'll put her to the, to the far side. Put this one here to the outside, it's, it's nearly total uh, brood, and put this one in, inside. When a mat goes back on, on again, didn't say good day to him, did I? Frames are always harder to work in the, uh, in the winter time, because the, the wax is a lot, and propolis is a lot colder. By using your two hands on the diagonal corners, it's a lot easier to move any hive so that it centralises itself above the one on the bottom. The most capped frame of honey is removed for extraction and the two outside ones are left for stores or food for the bees. Uh, that one's only got a little bit in, so uh, I'll put it on the inside to be filled. This is nearly all sealed. So we've got two frames of honey for stores and this one here is a brood. I'm now cleaning uh, two of the centre frames off so that they don't have any propolis on them so that the beetle trap sits down nice and flat and the bees won't be able to propolis it up. Mark this frame so I know that I've got to uh, come back in five, seven days time to uh, check for rogue queen cells. Yeah. Right, okay, put my beetle trap in, squeeze the frames together around the beetle trap so the bees can't propolise it. Put another bread wearing mat on top so as to keep the warmth in the hive. Rain it on, 
hemlock tied up. And this is another new finished. Just going to shake these few bees out here. As you can see, there's very looking in the ground. There's all the bees that were shaken off uh, have been flying, so that tells me that they were field bees.